You are in for a real treat. This episode was originally recorded for my other podcast, but for you, it's been upgraded and transformed, and now you have the Ask the Pro show. So everything mentioned in this episode will now be found on chrisdufay.com, plus so much more, as I've designed the Ask the Pro podcast and chrisdufay.com to give you exactly what you need to grow your business success and for you to have the money, the freedom, and the happiness you want want, making a bigger and better impact to the world unselfishly. So now it's time to delve straight into this episode and I want you to lap up and enjoy every single second of it. The big boy himself, Gavin O'Toole, mate, it's fantastic to finally have you on the Turning Pro Academy podcast. I'm pumped to have you here. For the listener, this is my main man. I, I actually call him a point man when it comes to our online coaching clients because um, I think the absolute world of you, and I know by the end of this episode, the listener is going to think the absolute same because you, well, we, but especially you with where you're coming from and what you're delivering is bring the, what I really see is top level coaching and bring it into the online world where I think both you and I, we can laugh about this later, but obviously transferring from a face-to-face personal training world and bringing that into the online world is not cut and dry. It's not easy. It's not as simple as you. A lot of people think about it when they were first want to delve into this, but there's a lot we're going to cover in this episode. So before we jump into this gap, I want to say a big thank you first, mate. No, thank you, mate. It's been a pleasure to come on. Um, it's an honor to be on your podcast. I know that the type of people that you've had on is it's, um, it's a great pleasure. All right, my man. So before we even start delving into this even further, I know you're the bee's knees. Who are you, Gavin, and why are you so phenomenal? Oof, phenomenal. It's a big word, mate. Um, <laughs> so basically, I've been in the fitness industry for around 12 years, um, obviously starting from the bottom, working my way up. And eventually, like, what we discussed before we came on is is looking at how I got involved in the online side and stuff. And it, it was mainly one-to-one training that I got into, went into obviously personal training uh, in just general health clubs and gyms. And one thing led to another with my education and went down a certain route. And I've got asked to deliver education mainly around Asia to start with and uh, around certain parts of Europe. So it's being away from the family and still trying to manage PT clients back at home and it was getting tougher to do the face-to-face stuff and travel at the same time. So my my scope of training has been quite wide and varied. Um, why I'm awesome, I, I'm not too sure. Oh, come on, Gav. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, I'm, the main thing I focus on is the best way and get results for people. I mean, it, that's, that's the, the be-all and end-all of why they're coming. Um, so yeah, just, just focus on results and where the, the person's coming from, how we can um, see where they're at and make easy modifications to what they're doing without being too overwhelming. Uh, so they can apply everything straight away. I think that's a really point that you bring up because like we can talk really technical stuff about program design, periodization, yep. like absolutely everything. But when you really start boiling it down to, and when we're talking about dealing with our clients, mm-hmm. like it's a lot of it comes down to like, what are they able to bring on? Like we're like really looking also, especially for the online fitness world is looking into the wording for like, what are their emails saying to us? Or if we're talking through Skype with them, like what's the actual terminology that they're using with us to understand where they're at how do we actually start changing that program to suit with and i think a big part which will resonate with a lot of the listeners out there as well is like you were uh juggling being a face-to-face personal trainer having clientele having two gorgeous kids um Mm -hmm. and touring the world um lecturing presenting and teaching personal trainers how to be better personal trainers like there was a lot on your plate and i think that was when when we came together and was like right this is going to be an absolute um brilliant relationship being able to do this it was like i definitely knew what was going on but i think it was great for you to be able to share that as well yeah i mean since how long ago was it we start we we it's quite a few years ago now yeah and um the thing that, that, that we noticed was we're, we're both fathers and we both pretty much on identical paths at the minute. So it was good to get your insights and how I, how you helped me manage things was phenomenal. I mean, just even setting up my day differently to, to focus on what needs to get done first so I can spend more time with the kids was it just helped me so much, so, so much. All right. Now, what do you reckon was like, what happened for you to finally go, right, I, I really need to start getting into this online world now? Like, what was... Was there, I don't think we've actually like talked about this personally between each other. Like, yeah. was there like, what was the kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back for you? Um, it's been away from the family, really. I mean, I thought, you know, I traveling quite a lot is, is nice, but when you're on your own, 
and you're just hitting an airport and then you, you're in a different city. You, you just go to the hotel, you sleep, you get up, you eat, you, you teach all day and then you just go back to the hotel and just try and get some rest because you're jet lagged, right? And it's, it's trying to have a, a, a relationship on Skype with your family. Just, it's hard. So it, it was like, right, I've got to change something here. People think you know, the whole presenting and traveling thing is a real glamorous thing, but it's, it's oh, not mate. at all. <laughs> it's horrible. I mean, during the time you're doing it, it's fantastic because you've got some eager trainers that want to learn a lot of stuff and you're, you're getting the rewards from helping other people. Mm. But once that's done, it's, it's like you're on your own in the hotel and you think, oh, I just, I'd love for my family to be here right now. You know, that's the, that was the main thing for me, just being away from them guys and missing certain, cause my, my kids are, are young. So my son's two, my daughter's six in March. So at the time, a few years ago, my daughter was still only like two, three years old mm. and she's hitting like the starting hit school and certain milestones in her life. When I, luckily enough, I didn't miss a lot of it. Um, like when the first day at school, her first Christmas nativity play and stuff. I haven't missed any of those. So I'm mm. quite fortunate and lucky enough to do that. So I did plan a little bit around that. So I, I got that one done. But yeah, just being being back home with them has, has helped. Brilliant. Okay. This is phenomenal. So let's bring it back to the listener now because I think a lot of people are definitely going to be tuning into this episode because they want to see how how we run our clients, how we're dealing with the Fit Body Pro clients. Sure. Because it, it's like, well, we we're dealing with a wide range of different clientele here from physique competitors to yep. someone just wanting a body weight workout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll laugh about yeah. that later. Um, okay. In your words, Gav, what, why do you think we're actually getting such good results with the clients that are such a vast array? And then let's start knocking off, okay, having a different few situations so the listener can walk away with the actual steps they can start putting into place. I think I think the main the main thing why we get results is we've been through the experience ourselves. So from my background, I, I've been overweight. I know what it's like to have to make changes. I know what it's like to have a busy schedule and how tough it is sometimes. So so if somebody does think I can't do X, Y, or Z from the plan, mm. okay, let's let's modify that and see where it can fit in for you. Because I know what it's like to try and hit five meals a day, and it, it, some days it just doesn't work. So how what can we back that up with to make sure you're not so much falling off the wagon per se, but still staying on point and getting to the place we need to, to get you to? I think that's a really good um, point that you bring up because I feel like a lot of people, if they're not like 100% to the diet that they um, yeah. have been given, it's like, oh, well, I'm a complete loss and it all goes out the window. Yeah, Where, like, like having yeah. to deal with like traveling, having to deal with um, being a father and having kids and like going out like today, like literally I got back 15 minutes ago because we had a 40 minute drive to where the midwives were. Do you know what I mean? So I was kind of like yeah. getting back and was like, well, and actually knowing that I was going to be out for so long, like I just fasted for half the day because I was like, well, I'm not going to be getting all these meals in. Like I know I'm just yeah. going to have to wait till we get to a cafe later on and deal with it. So okay. yeah. I think that's a really good point. Now, what do you think the actual, what, what are a couple of case scenarios you think we can um, tick off for the listener now? As in meal planning or is it training or? Yeah, I think we can cover, let's start with the nutrition side and then we'll delve on over into more of the training design aspect. I mean, it's, so let's say, for example, the, the one thing I see a, a lot of is people will read a lot of information on in magazines, on the internet and say, right, I'm going I'm to try this, I'm going to try that. And it's not looking at um, where, what they need to use on a daily basis. It's just trying something because they think it's going to get them a quick fix. Do, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Um, so, for example, there's a, there's a young lad, so it's, apologies about the, the background noise. If you can hear music as a, in my gym at the minute, there's a big boot camp going on downstairs. So I'll, hey, I'll give you a, we're recording personal training. I think it's more than uh, <laughs> fit. There's a, there's a group session going on in the background. It's a Sorry. good job you can't see me at the minute because I'm actually that shit, uh, pulling off some moves in the background because the music's coming on. So it's, <laughs> I'm shaking my hips a little bit. But uh, there's a young lad downstairs, um, one of our trainers, who's getting advice from another coach, which is great. I, I always advise trainers to get coaching from other coaches so they can learn more. But he's going through a lot of fasting right now. And it's, it's very much like if your macros are there all day, it, it doesn't really matter. Just just make sure you hit those macros. So he's got him fasting all day and his just one meal is getting like 1,500 calories in. And it's like, okay, that, that may be good for some people. But for this for this young lad, it's, it's like he's getting digestive issues. Um, he wants to put muscle mass on. It isn't working, you know. So, so we're going to have to sit down with him and say, right, okay, what is it exactly that you want to do? 
unless figure out what it is that we have to do for you specifically because that type of thing isn't working for you. you know, so it's getting rid of all that, the myth and media type stuff that he wants to follow. That is brilliant because I think a lot of the time uh, people are getting caught up in fads or they've read the latest article on ketosis or intermittent fasting or whatever it is and then suddenly it's like, yeah. um, I'm going to be intermittent fasting every single day or I'm never touching a carb for the next four weeks or whatever it is and where it really boils down to what – Where's that person's metabolism, hormonal health, everything, and where's that person's lifestyle at as well? Exactly. Now, with the kind of like nitty-gritty, or actually, let's tell you what, maybe before you even delve into that, what would be another client you would kind of want to delve into that could be like a completely different scenario that you see a lot of? Um Okay, so this is like fe- we got some females coming through as well. Um, they want to get leaner. They want to get in great shape. They've been through, for example, they maybe done a show before, and it's like trying to build their metabolism back up, trying to build their calories back up. You know, it's but it's they've got they've got they've done the thing I see with these people is they've got really good work ethic. They they can stick to a plan one hundred percent because they know what they need to do. Mm-hmm. You know, so but it's it's getting their mindset very very different to to getting their calories back up. Oh, if I have too many carbohydrate days, I'm going to put loads of fat on and exact etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So it it's it's working with their mindset as well. Brilliant. Now. Especially dealing with, let's say, the competitors um, that come through. And uh, unfortunately, it does have a more of a female focus because I think just in general, the females are the ones that get hammered. So many coaches kind of don't know how to deal with um, the hormonal health of where they're at. So they kind of just give them absolutely like nothing to eat. And actually, okay, this is abysmal. Uh, we haven't talked about this, Gav, but um, Beck that's here at the moment with me. So she's okay. going to be a coach that's coming on board with Fit Body Pro as well. She yep. was telling me about the runaround that she's been given previously, the last comp diet that she had was like, I swear to God, one of my meals would have been like more calories in her whole day. And it was just like minuscule amounts, like really low levels of protein, like carbs were absolutely non-existent. And it was just, it was, it was soul crushing to hear how, like what she actually went through. And I was like, I cannot believe you've actually got the willpower to go through that. It just shows you, but I think so many, so many trainers and so many trainers that are also willing to do physique comps, just are willing to kind of, the do all mentality and it's actually not what you need to be doing. Like there's a, there's yep. a smarter approach to it. Now imagine she's got the, a better approach to that, but the willpower she's got, the results she can get with a better plan. I mean, exactly, exactly. You know I mean? It's like if you were actually doing something correct and then put that hard yakka into play with yep. the right plan, like God knows where you can go now. I mean, there's one girl we, we got going on right now. I mean, she's come off a low carb approach. We've basically started increasing calories over time. And we're just getting good workouts in where it's minimizing the amount of body fat uh, she's putting on. So we're actually, her weight's going up and her body fat is actually starting to come down and such. And we're just increasing calories as we go. There's Uh, a good point that you bring up. Sorry, Gav, I'll just jump in on that because we're finding a lot of time with the clients that um, we're taking on board. It's actually our job is to really start increasing their calories and especially increasing their carbs and actually bringing down their workout intensity and volume and their body fat is dropping dramatically. Yeah. I mean, the one thing with the, the workouts we've got, got with her, I mean, we, we, we did bring up the volume quite a bit and then we were monitoring how she reacts to the volume uh, of calories enough. So I'm monitoring, is she hungry or is she getting hungry at certain times of the day? What days is she getting hungry on? So, it, so we're starting to monitor that type of stuff. Um, how, how her stress levels are, is she sleeping well? So we're always monitoring that stuff week by week. And we're actually, we've dropped the volume back down to just four weight training days and we've cut the cardio down. And we're seeing better response from that, even with the calories. So she's getting hungrier as we, as we go now, so <laughs> even with the calories going up. So she, she, we should see weight go up slightly, and she can put a little bit of lean muscle tissue on, and she's away to go. It's, it's going to settle it for better fat loss then. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in a split with so much more for you. Now, I know you're listening and tuning in because you know how important your health is and how this can also catapult your business. This is why I'm very happy to say that this podcast is sponsored by My Body Blends and my favorite, the Superfood Elixir, the powerful greens drink. Now, this is designed specially to boost energy, aids detoxification, enhances the ability to burn fat, supports healthy carbohydrate metabolism, and best of all, is voted 
best tasting green drink. Now, myself and the My Body Blends team are looking for ambassadors to join. So you and your clients get the health benefits plus adding in a strong income stream for you and your business. The ambassador program, which is by application only, means you get exclusive access to sell My Body Blends products like Superfood Elixir to your clients, plus giving you the special ambassador pricing and bonuses. So once you become an ambassador, you can join the other top health and fitness players that are adding thousands to their week's income. Now, there is only a limited number of ambassadors we are taking on board as this is a tribe leading the way together. So to apply and to join, go to mybodyblend.com forward slash ambassador or add the checkout code that is turning pro all one word when you're going to get your own superfood elixir to order plus you're going to get free shipping and a bonus to save yourself over 250 dollars instantly so just use that coupon code turning pro in the checkout and you can save over 250 right now all on mybodyblends.com Now, this is a big part of when coaches want to start dealing with online clients. And it's something that I think we've really got down is the actual communication part with how everything comes across from the clients, what we need to hear, what we need to see, what we need to know to actually start making the weekly adjustments. How yeah. how would you help a personal trainer kind of wanting to delve into the online personal training world and knowing actually how to execute the best coaching and knowing how to then continue to change, tweak, upgrade the client's plan as they go along? Um, I mean, having the the right market that they're going for is going to help. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the, we've got some trainers here that we're going to be obviously getting you to present to regarding the, the business side of stuff. It's, there's, there's no sort of fine tuning in who they want to train exactly because they obviously they want to earn, a, earn money and, and do well at, at business. But if I think if they have that zoned in approach to who exactly they want to train, I think the results will become better because mm. they can focus focus on those uh, specific people and what they need more so. Does that make sense? No, absolutely. I think it's hilarious because this is something that we preach a lot. And because so many trainers are willing just to take on anybody and everybody that's got a yeah. pulse and willing to pay them a couple of dollars, that they yeah. suddenly think that they should bring that client on where, where we find really when a client wants to come on, like we have to talk to them first and it's more of a do you fit this or do you not fit this? And a lot of the time yeah. it's like, well, actually, you know what? This isn't the right fit. We've got someone better for you or maybe you should just join the membership or there's other things that could actually mean we make a lot less money from that client. But at the end of the day, we know they're actually going to get better results. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, sorry, you go. So, sorry, mate. It'll go on the experience as well with, with the type of clients they trained. How would they see the client adapting to the, the program they set out and how they're going to change that is, is going to be massive. I mean, I've, I've set out programs where I think that's going to be a good fit. And I obviously online, you can't tell whether somebody's more adapted to fast twitch or slow twitch based on, on what they send you on an email. Hmm. But if you see how they respond to a workout, it's like, okay, they didn't respond as exactly how I wanted to. So I'm going to switch that up and I'll maybe change it to a lower rep dominant for a fast twitch guy or something, you know? All right, I tell you what, so kind of like having a bit of a sidetrack from the actual coaching technicals, what would your... What would your common mistake see? Like you see trainers all over the world, Gav, and a lot of trainers have been coming to you kind of like asking for your advice. And without a doubt, I know we're going to see tons of it for when we're in Fit Pro later this, uh, later next year as well. Yeah. What's yeah. like, what are the common mistakes that you're like, you know what? This is definitely what you should not be doing. Mm, common mistakes. Um, cookie cutter plans are going to be number one because I see that a lot. It's like, oh, just give, give them this. As long as they're working hard and sweating, it's going to work. And it's not necessarily the case. I, um, I have to jump in here because this is hilarious how I've actually had a few conversations the last few days with this, especially so many of the people. Let's let's just call it out a little bit. Let's call a spade for a spade. So yeah. many kind of people, especially with like large social media followings and they're selling like physique programs or weight loss programs or whatever it is. And yeah. you look at a price difference, like we're charging at least 10 to 12 times more than what they are, like hands down. And they think a cookie cutter program that's literally like get an email in, is it like a male or female or whatever? And yeah. just kind of like spit it out. And yeah. look, for us, that's not what we want to be dealing with because we want that kind of 
we want that to deliver the high level of service. But I think that's a huge problem with so many people. Like I'm all for having a system in place, having kind of like the templates to work off and knowing kind of what you're going to be doing in future steps and then managing it from there. But mate, yeah. you've nailed it from with that one for sure. Sorry, what other ones do you have? Um, and it go it's same again. It'll be like a cookie cutter approach to nutrition. I mean, you look at the people that are just doing hammering low carb all the time just because they think carbs are bad. And if they drop carbs out, then, then they can drop body fat. But it, we found over time that you need carbs to do, all, especially the, the type of training we're going to be giving the clients. Mm. They're going to need carbs, you know, and it's, it's finding... In my opinion, the quicker I can get people eating carbs every day, the more results they get. It's, it's quite like, and it, actually it's pretty funny because the emails we get from clients when they first come on board and they start going through the changes that we make on a week to week basis with them, it's really against the common knowledge that, or the common advice that they've been getting for so long now. Like when we're, and like it, it takes a lot from us having to kind of educate them. And I think that's something that I really want trainers to take on board is you have to educate your clients because yeah. when we're saying, okay, we're going to be throwing in um, more carbs this week and we just did it last week. And they're like, whoa, 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 hang on. Like I've just been for the last God knows how many years completely yeah. avoiding them. And then it's it's a big change that you need to go through. And then obviously once they actually start seeing their body get lean per week, um, that's yeah. where it comes in. But I think it's a good point. And especially like for our own physiques as well, like we're always trying to push the echelon and test this out. It's like, well, how many carbs can I push in? Like where yeah. do I need to do? Or do I need to back it off? Or what sources are going to be? Or how many um, times a day can I start feeding this in? It's, I, and this is why I enjoy this part of it as well. I mean, we've got to test ourselves, haven't we? You know, so it's, I know myself and yourself are always pushing boundaries and what we can do. And like, can I challenge myself next month? I mean, my coach at the minute has got me doing stuff that I never thought I could do. Yeah. Um, he's got my carbs flying high every day, you know, based on what the program is, which is fantastic. But it's like, it's not to say that low carb doesn't work for some people, which it does. Everybody's different. But I, I went through the, I mean, I'm sure you were, you were the oh, same yeah. at the time when we, we did certain things like low carb was the way and it was like paleo and it would, yeah, it, it worked for a certain time. But then after, after a while, it was like I crashed and burned. There, there, absolutely. I, th I think I've said it a few times before, but I know when I went through that massive like low carb foreverness it felt like mm -hmm. the, my body just hit a level and it like it hit a certain body fat it hit a certain level of um lean muscle mass and it just did not budge do you know what i mean yeah. and, and it just yeah. and it wasn't until i really started using carbs in the right way that suddenly body fat would just drop off and i was just getting beer on a week to week and i was just like oh my god like hang on this doesn't commute because so much of what i've just been getting told is yep. wrong right now and i think that's why so many trainers need to get out there and need to test different things need to learn from other coaches as well and it's a good point that you bring up as well gav is about look low carb does work for some people and definitely you need to be able to look at all the different factors of someone's hormonal health of someone's actual dining and training history um, of someone's current metabolism, their uh, metabolic flexibility or their insulin yeah. sensitivity. Like there's all these things that we're constantly looking at. And that's why also like one, when a client first wants to come on board, we have to Skype with them. We have to chat with them um, mm -hmm. like on a face-to-face -face level and get as much info. Plus we've got two very thorough forms that they have to fill out and send back. Yeah including their photos as well that they've got to send through before we even start looking at creating a plan for them. Yeah, we need all the information we can get, right? I mean, and, and as well, got, touching back on um, when we send things through to clients and making modifications, I think explaining exactly why we're doing something mm. is going to help them massively because we could say, okay, we're going to do drop carbs or up carbs for this phase. And they're going to freak it. They could freak, freak out based on like, I've had fantastic results and all of a sudden he's changing something or modifying something. I like to say more so because changing something could be bad. Yes. But modifying their plan. It's like if I give an explanation of why I'm putting it in on a certain day and it's, it's, it makes it much easier for the client to understand, mm. they, they're just going to go follow. I find they follow through with it much easier. Totally. Instead of just sending the plan through and they go, okay, I've got to do this and I don't know why. I think it's a good point as well because I never want a client to blindly follow the guidance yeah. because at the end of the day, look, we're not going to keep a client for absolutely ever and a big part of it is educating so then they can continue on and not say completely blow out at the end of the day as well. Um, yeah. The other thing I wanted to bring up as well with you, Gab, obviously the guide that you've wrote up uh, for personal trainers being the strategies for maximum fat loss and the other thing I love about it is the tagline you added for it is 
leave no stone unturned and learn some of the best techniques to maximize your client's potential. Mate, you're a genius for doing that. Now, even more so of a genius is actually what you've got in the guide as well. Now, obviously, you've pieced this together and I can see as soon as I started getting into this, this is just like a simple guide that is so effective to being able to go, okay, how do I start setting up their training? What does the training actually involve with the design? Do I start looking at their calories? How do I start looking at the calories? How do I calculate their calories? How do I look at someone's body type? How does that pertain to their macronutrient setup? How does meal, like all these things go into this actual guide itself. Mm-hmm. Why do you think, sorry, go you go finish the question, mate. What What was the reason you wanted to put this together so we could get this out there? Like, because you were like, mate, I, you gave me some ideas of what you were doing. I was like, mate, this sounds phenomenal. Get this through. And then you sent it to me. And I was like, this is spot on. Um, it's looking at where somebody could start. And I, it's like, because there's so many variations that you could do, but it's having a starting point. And I think anybody who says, I've got a perfect diet plan for you is just trying to make money out of you because yeah. there is no perfect diet plan. And it's just getting a starting point to get somebody on a path and learning how to modify that. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like, if I did, let's say we get somebody that's yeah. overweight and they hold a lot of body fat. Okay, we may start them with a, a lower carb approach for a couple of weeks to get to get their insulin sensitivity up a little bit. And we, we want to put carbohydrates in at some point after that and certain carbohydrates in so we can start to drive certain things up and having the right training program to go alongside it. I think we can get fat loss to a, a, a certain extent really, really well. But then if I give that approach to somebody that struggles to put muscle mass on, I'm going to make them worse. Yes, totally. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So, having that, so if I can look at somebody's body shape and say, okay, well, if that's if that somebody is more of a what we call what we would call an ectomorph style body shape, and I give them a lower carb approach, I mean that's that's going to be quite detrimental to what they need. Uh, I find they they run off carbohydrates quite well. Um, they with their stress response, their their thyroid is quite flying, so so to speak. So I, I find more protein levels are, are better for them as well, or slightly higher than what they would be taking in. Mm-hmm. Um, as soon as they get stressed, I, I find they, they turn protein quite quick and they, I don't want them to go into muscle mass stores. So carbohydrates are quite high. Um, it's more of a moderate approach to protein as well, lower fats. What I've finally found, especially with that example you use, is I found a lot of, and it's funny, just from like kind of a lot of friends that have found like entrepreneurs and especially all around and kind of just the way their lifestyle is set up at the moment. And they oh, quite a few of them are into CrossFit. They've got nothing against CrossFit whatsoever. But mm-hmm. the yeah. way they've been, the the meal plans that they've been following compared to what their lifestyle is and then the disconnect between what their training program design is as well is yep. exactly the fix for what you've walked through just then is exactly what I just said. Like, all right, just quickly do this. And then suddenly they're just getting leaner on a week to week basis. Yep. And it's hilarious. Like there's one client that we both know that we're talking about right now as well. Mm-hmm. How, like he was just gobsmacked from what two weeks in. He was like, "I can't believe how easy this is and what's happening right now." Like it's it yeah. was falling off him. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we we just looked at his plan. I mean, there were a lot of CrossFit wads, and he would burn himself out. I mean, it was like five six times a week. He would probably on a couple of those days try out one RMs too. Yeah, I mean, that's a, a total different scenario <laughs> when you're trying to train as well. So you're trying to it's like trying to tr- chase two rabbits at once. Totally. You're never going to catch both. And then you may follow that up with like a three to four hour bike ride. It's, it's like so much variety in one week. It was it was unbelievable, which which isn't a, a bad thing because one, he's active, he's, burn, he's burning calories, he's, do, he's doing the right thing in activity levels, but it's just focusing in on how can we make this much more simple for him to get results. Mm, totally. And obviously, and on his rest date, there was a rest date, believe it or not. Um, he, he would have a massive cheat day because you think all week he's he's an entrepreneur, so he's going to be stressed with his business. He's stressing himself out even more with the workouts that he's doing. So he's going to need that stress to come down at some point with a massive cheat meal, right? Mm. And there's, yeah, there's, it's hilarious because I think especially when we start looking at um, the strategies for maximum fat loss guide that you put together, we can start easily looking at, say, like the macronutrient setup, but also mm-hmm. how that tailors across to the entire nutrition plan set up as well and being able to break that apart and then looking yep. at, okay, what is a meal template? What's a good guide to start with? Do you know what I mean? Because I think a big yep. part of it is, especially when we take a client on board, it's like, how can we get them to the fastest point where we're able to start bringing their calories up, putting their yep. carbs in more, and then being able to tailor their training design around that as well. I so mean, go, do you want to go through what we did with with uh, this client a little yeah, bit? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, let's do it. I think it's perfect for the listener to take on. So. 
you think all that training he was doing, we basically brought him down to four sessions a week. Um, we got two weight training sessions and we gave him two modified strongman style training sessions. And we, with his uh, nutrition, we just upped his protein intake and fats for the first two weeks. So we, we did give him a lower carb phase just to get him more sensitive to carbohydrates. And after two weeks, we just drove his carbs up and we, we placed those post-workout so we could maximize it. Um, rest days were the same. Um, so we, we gave him carbs on rest days, but we gave him those at the last meal of the day. So with the carbs, I wanted, wanted to control cortisol more because he's, he's stressed out to the max. And calories and feeds were quite constant. So I, I wanted him to eat as many times as he could throughout the day. So if he, for example, um, missed a meal, it wasn't a, a big issue. We just gave him a certain... Say okay, we'll just take a, like a primal clear shake or some of that to, to help him with that. It makes it so easy when we start breaking apart the basics of it and kind of just. And for him, it was like a complete like his mind was blown about what we wanted him to do at the start. And I think a lot of trainers, when they listen to this as well, um, there could be a lot of pushback. And you know what I mean? Like, I hope there is. I hope this does actually bring about some questioning about what's going on. But I think also at the end of the day, it's piecing together what we know works and what can work for the client and then making sure that happens because no one can ride a perfect diet straight from the get-go. It's just never going to happen. There's always a moving target with what's going on and it's Mm -hmm. definitely understanding that. And I think especially when uh, we record the episode that will go for the Fit Body Pro podcast, like we're going to really walk through in that episode what some major changes you can be on different types of a person's training program, how does that relate to their nutrition design, and what are the changes that we have to make depending on what happens? So if someone's getting more lethargic, if hunger goes up or if their body fat starts going up, like anything, all these different variables that can happen, then we can yep. start looking at what changes to be made. So being able to walk that system through that we're using as well. Yeah. Now, exactly. before I let you go, Gav, I know the listener is going to want to know a lot more about yourself and especially with what we're doing as well. Where should they head? Um, my website's going live in a couple of weeks, so... Uh, we've been, we've making some modifications to it. Um, so it's gavinatori.com. So it's G-A-V-I-N-A-T-T-O-R-R-E.com. Um, contact me on Facebook, uh, Fit Body Pro. I'll be doing some stuff on there with you. I know we're going to be discussing what, what we're going to be doing more of after this call. But, um, yeah, just if anybody needs to drop me a line through there, they can contact me on Facebook um, and go from there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to be making sure that is in the show notes because – that actually, when this episode goes live, my man, your website's going to be ready to rock and it's going to be all looking pretty and absolutely doing what it needs to do. So we'll be doing that. And I'm looking forward to what's coming up in 2016 with you and me, my man. And finally, yeah. I get to come to London with you as well. You do, mate. We've got a we've got Fit Pro lined up for for April, I believe. And we've got a we're going to try and get a, a few dates where you can come present some of your some of your stuff as well. All right. So, so I'm based in South Wales. We've got a gym here in South Wales. So we're going to see if we can get you in and do, do a couple of days here as well. All right, big boy, you know it's on. So, my man, thank you so much for coming on board. I know we're going to have a whole lot more. For the listener right now, what we want you to do is we want you to comment. Come to us through Facebook, get onto the site, email us. Make sure you get in contact because we want to know what more you want more. Do you want us to delve into more training design, more nutrition and meal plan design, whatever it is, dealing with actual clients, dealing with online clients, We want to know so Gavin and I can jump back on board and actually start delving into the way we're running our businesses, dealing with our clients as well. So Gav, kudos, sir. I'm looking forward to talking more with you. And it's always, always a pleasure. Brilliant, mate. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me on, man. So now it's time for you to click on over to chrisdufay.com. That's chris, D-U-F-E-Y.com to get all the guides and show notes. And if you are wanting the workshops where I walk you through how to build your online business, click on over to chrisdufay.com forward slash start here. This is where I can give you the exact training guides and the workshops for exactly where you're at and the answers that you need. Now, every Friday, I'm coming back to you with a new episode. So be sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, you're going to be getting the world's best insights, the advice and the answers to give you the business, the money, the freedom and the success and happiness that you want. And I want to give you a huge muchas gracias for being here with me. And as always, get in touch with me via the site or via social as Ask the Pro is about me giving you the answers that you need. So ask away. 